Hey, what's happening folks? So uh, I want to go over some of the features of the padded version of my sling. Um, talk about the features of it, how it's going to come to you assembled, uh, how you adjust it and use some of those features to end up with a nice neat package on your rifle. Uh, so it took me a little while to uh, come up with a padded sling design that I was happy with that uh, met all the requirements of uh, what I wanted out of a sling. You know, minimalist, low profile, uh, two point adjustable sling. Um, really happy with the way this one uh, turned out and uh, we're able to, with some of the design features we're gonna talk about, was able to um, deal with some of the issues that I've had with other types of slings where, you know, the extra, you know, the loose ends or the running ends, once you get the sling adjusted for you, you know, what do you do with them? You know, usually you have to like, duct tape those up or whatnot uh, came up with another another way to deal with it um, heck let's go ahead and talk about that now so what we've got on this sling this, this padded portion uh, that's the part that goes towards your body um, you got two elastic loops on either end um, and then this pouch that runs the full length of the pad uh, so your running ends end up getting stowed there once you get the sling set up the way you, you want it for yourself. Um, so the sling, the front end of the sling adjusts the same way as my standard sling. So uh, adjustments and installation on the rifle uh, with the, uh, the 550 loops, exactly the same as a standard sling. So I would definitely tell you, go watch the, uh, if you get one of these slings, watch those videos for setting up the standard sling and also the integrated sling management for storing the sling up to work inside of a vehicle works the same way on the padded sling as it does the standard sling okay uh, really the only difference uh, was able to put a low profile uh, but functional padded section in the sling and uh, come up with a way to manage the excess webbing okay so the sling's going to come out of the package uh, something like this okay um, it's assembled in, in a way that you can not really ready to go on the rifle uh, and use because these, these running ends are going to be loose out there. Uh, but everybody is built a little bit different. They got their guns set up a little bit differently. Um, so it's kind of set up in, a, you know, you size it yourself mode and then I'll show you how to store it up nice and neat. Okay. Um, the back adjustment back here, um, this will according to how long or short you have that based on the size person you are, this will determine where the padded section lives on your body. Um, if you have it too loose and you're a smaller guy, you know, the padded section may be sitting out on the front of your chest and not even on your shoulder at all. Um, if you're a bigger guy, you may need to run it a little bit longer there to have the padded section sitting on your shoulder. Uh, the way I run my rifles and my body size, I typically end up with the, the back section a lot shorter and that ends up putting the padded section right on top of my shoulder all right so i'll adjust that portion and then show you how we can store that up all right cool so this loose end we're not going to just like leave that flopping out there and looking bad or poking you in the side of the head or duct taping it up all right so we got this uh, elastic loop and then this pocket on top of the pad that we're going to stow that in Run it under the elastic loop and then just push it down, speed it down the pocket. It's not the way you want it, smooth it all out. And you can kind of see that that's pretty low for profile and looks nice, okay? It's out of the way, um, stored up nicely and, and looks well. All right, so the front end, you, you get that set up the way you want it so that your adjustments um, you know, the, the front buckle quick adjust works the way you like it to for the range of motion you want to work it and how you have it set up on your rifle and what size person you are, whatnot. Um, to make adjustments here on the front, you have to pull the webbing out of where it's locked in. Then you can slide the front portion of the sling up and down however you want it. Um, and then do need to run it back through there and lock it in, okay? So that's locked in, you got the size that, you know, it's sized the way you want it. Go underneath the elastic uh, webbing on the front of the pocket, or the front of the pad rather, and then slide that running in up inside this pocket that's on top of the sling. And that 
can kind of see also looks nice and neat and that running is out of your way. So uh, that's it. Um, once again, the adjustments and installing it on the rifle, that's all the same as the standard sling, uh, the quick adjust stuff, all the same as the standard sling. Putting the padded sling into vehicle configure or vehicle storage mode using that integrated sling management system, that's all the same as the standard sling, so check those videos out. All right, hope you enjoyed it.